Goedemiddag en welkom op onze persconferentie. We gaan vooruitblikken op de eerste wedstrijd van de Euro Playoffs morgenavond kwart voor negen tegen Standaar. Zoals jullie weten is onze coach Hein van Haasbroek geschorst voor die wedstrijd. Hij wordt vervangen door zijn assistent, onder wie Daniel Milicevic, die ook de persactiviteiten voor zijn rekening zal nemen. Om te beginnen dus deze persconferentie. Graag jullie vragen dit keer in het Engels dus voor Daniel. Good afternoon, Daniel. How do you guys approach these Europe playoffs? I mean, we all know that the club was aiming for a higher ambition, but at the end, it's once again those uh, second-tier playoffs, if I can put it like that. Uh, how do you guys uh, start tomorrow night uh, against Standard? Uh, first of all, uh, first of all uh, hi, everyone. Uh, Yeah, we approach these playoffs like uh, last two seasons because uh, we reach uh, Europe via the Europe playoff. Uh, this year will be different with uh, 10 games to go. Uh, our goal is to, to win it and to play the extra game uh, at the end. Uh, so the approach I saw on the players this week, they were very... Uh, how do you say with uh, a lot of willingness uh, concentration so it was a good uh, good start of the week uh, we uh, the international internationals came back also this week so we were a lot today the training is uh, something that not not every time uh, happens but uh, i i believe that the guys they're ready ready to go for this new challenge because uh, like you say it was a big disappointment also for us after uh, the last game uh, against Charleroi everybody wanted to play this, uh, the playoff one but okay the past is past so we have to watch uh, in front of us and uh, it's the first game of tomorrow uh, to start good the playoffs mm -hmm. to look back once one more time the, the last game of the regular season We all witnessed the, and we all saw the images from uh, Westerlo uh, Genk. And um, how do you look back at that case of, yeah, we all call it here in Dutch a salon de remise. Um, it was not really uh, propaganda for professional football. Yes, a lot of uh, pages and uh, uh, videos of these last minutes in this game. I don't want really to speak about that because uh, a lot of people spoke it already but uh, was like you say not a very nice propaganda for Belgium football I think and uh, the way how they act at the end is uh, I think that like an ex-football player I cannot uh, uh, imagine to do it so but I say Uh, we had uh, chances enough to finish it uh, in playoff one, so I don't want to look back uh, what Westerlo and uh, Genk did in the last five minutes. Westerlo will be next uh, opponent also in the, this playoffs. So, will this play will this has will this game of Genk has an influence on your games against Westerlo during the Europe playoffs? You think? I think maybe for the players uh, will be something extra motivation because uh, we were here in, uh, on the ground here in uh, Kagant Arena watching the last minute so everybody was a little bit upset uh, about that but uh, it would be a, a football game like uh, like another to win, to try to win. Uh, first of all, we'll concentrate standard. Uh, they finished the regular competition six or nine, uh, so they beat us. Also, was a crucial game for us. Also, the circumstances that the coach is not here now to speak with you. So um, tomorrow uh, is the start of the playoffs, and uh, the main thing is to start good with a win at home uh, in front of our, our fans. Can you count on different players who were absent during the last couple of weeks, or? Are there no uh, reinforcements? Uh, we we can count on uh, players that they were here uh, last week. Sven is not uh, fit yet. Uh, he trained uh, parts of training, so it's good to see him back on the pitch. That's uh, that's positive. Uh, Andrew also Hilsager is coming back from uh, his uh, long injury. Uh, so. But uh, like I said, this morning we were uh, quite a lot on training. It's nice to see a big squad. 
you didn't need to step in uh, during training. No, no I, I'm not stepping in uh, often, but uh, no, in these uh, last weeks, no. Yeah. To come back to the game against Standard, uh, the game in Liege was quite passionate, passionate, quite uh, yeah, with a lot of turmoil. Um, is that the extra element you take in account for the game of uh, tomorrow night? I mean, is there some kind of uh, yeah f mixed feelings about uh, the last uh, jewel? Yeah, I think everybody remember this game because it was uh, three four weeks ago, so not so long a long time ago, and uh, we had. Uh, a good approach. Uh, we scored first after uh, we took a red card that influenced uh, normally the uh, the rest of the game. Uh, this unlucky penalty, also decision uh, from the referee, and uh, second half we give it away a little bit too easy. Some goals, but uh, we work on that. And uh, already the games after we did much better against Union there in Brussels, here at home against Charleroi. So we see an improving that uh, uh, where we want to go, to be efficient in the two phases, offensive and defensive. And this is the key to to have good results. Like today, the coach will also be absent tomorrow night. How do you guys will replace him? How is the, yeah, who will take care of which uh, responsibility? Yeah, I think we have a, a very good staff, staff members. We have uh, Peter Ballet, that uh, he was also head coach, assistant coach for uh, a lot of years. Uh, Frankie also is very important for us. Uh, Gertian is also there. Uh, me, so we have uh, quite uh, diff uh, different views. So if you have to uh, choose something or change, we'll do it uh, together. And uh, But uh, the coach will be... Uh, is, it was there until t today, so the uh, the players know what what they have to do. How will he watch the game? I think at home, uh, in front of uh, a good uh, me uh, <laughs> plate of pasta or meat. I don't know what he will be, he will eat, but uh, he won't be in the stadium. No, I don't think that he's allowed to come uh, to the stadium. Mm -hmm. Is allowed? No. No. Yeah. Um. Okay. We had uh, already last year the first uh, game of the competition. Against standard, it was also suspended. It was not there. It was at home. So, yeah. and, uh, okay. Also, there we didn't had uh, luck with some uh, referee <laughs> <laughs> decisions with uh, end ball of uh, Emo, I think, and uh, at the last minute the kick mm -hmm. of Bodar and the face of Jordan. So, voila. Bad memories, Bad memories but uh, I hope that it will be better tomorrow. Okay. Thank you all for delivering. Thank, Thank you very much, Billy. Thank you too. Oh, that was fast. Nice. <laughs>